or some kind of pain and stuff. I was supposed to do these for a show, and then I didn't finish them in time. And then it was kind of like, don't worry about it, so then I didn't. Um, so here's a, here's a bird that's painted. Um, it really only needs... See, this is the problem, right? It's like 80% done. It only needs a little bit of polish. And then to be, you know, the just super onerous chore of actually packaging and then shipping it. Which just is where my brain shuts down. Um, and then this is uh, this is another guy from that set. Um, I don't think I've got a whole... I mean, I probably do under my, under my desk. Um, let me let me show y'all real quick, I guess, since I don't re recall doing this before or in a while. Arm. Oh, this is what I. It's Quilpan. Quilpan's the coolest, at least for part of the movie, and then he's a jerk, <clears throat> and then he's cool again. Um, let us go to, I guess, my Instagram. Let's do V-B-R-C-H-E-S-S. -S. Um, so, and then I will go to WebView, which is broken, like it always is. Done. Um, why is that so far over? That's weird. I must have been looking at something else. So, um, here's, here's, here's the, uh, this is the super original set. Um, I had, uh, so the story again it, from the PDF in my Discord. <clears throat> uh, in October, I had done those drawings. And then for November, when the De De designer con rolled around, I was like, "Oh, why don't I be that guy and take a dozen birds to designer con?" Uh, because I was also in the process of painting other people's stuff, and I'm like, I should probably stop painting other people's stuff, and I should start making my stuff, and then painting my stuff. Um, so I was like, "Let's let's start with something," and then I was like, "Oh, let's make the bird." I'm gonna skip a whole bunch of stuff about making the bird. But I took a dozen of them to DesignerCon, um, came home with none of them. Um, so I was like, oh, that worked out well. And then, uh, among other things. Um, but then I was like, for a show in the spring, I was like, oh. Um, one of the things that I did was uh, uh, I had a, a mold for one of them. And then I cast up like four of them. And then made a, uh, made a three bird mold. Um, so then I could do four at a time. So I could do off the, the original mold and then the, th the three mold. Uh, so then I could bang out these as, as pawns. The bird w actually works... Be oh, sorry. Then the reason that this this happened... Well, no, I already knew I was going to... Well, let's see. No. So yeah, for designer con, I, I probably just cast 12 of them off of the original mold. Between designer con and another show, before I did this chess set, um, I'd had enough people, like I made some more birds and painted some more birds. Um, I don't know if there's like, like this one, this one's like a turkey cause I painted it for Thanksgiving. Um, so, uh, but enough people had been like, Hey, this bird's cool. Let's, uh, you know, he'd be a cool chess piece because I'd already conveniently kind of had him at that kind of scale so I was like okay so then I'll, I'll make a chess piece and a chess set so then what I did is I um, designed the other guys uh, so I did the rooks first and then probably the bishops and then the king and the queen are together um, but they're all kind of different species stuff and the, the thought is that he that Kirk has seen totems like these throughout the world and he's just kind of culturally appropriating them is, is the thing so um <clears throat> anyway uh but the first the first original set that i made that was actually a full set um that i basically just sold the pieces for um 
were uh, um, the birds like so the monkey made a better pawn than the birds do the birds make better knights but since I already had the molds production just dictated that birds became the pawns does that make sense because I could just make more of them um, so that was for this set and then uh, yeah for, like for here then like not a year later I don't remember was it a year over a year Monster Palooza 19, I think, in, in January was the first time that I went and I actually had sets for sale. Um, and it was the first time that I had the small pawns. So um, this is one of the one of the painted sets um, that I sold recently. Um, and they are in I think there's what there is what? What? Is there not a shot of Sometimes, man, Instagram, I don't, I don't know what's up because VDR chess, and I know I've got stuff that's tagged VDR chess, and it's not showing up here. So I don't know, I don't know what the deal is. Thanks. Yeah. So my plan was going to be that, like, I, um, uh, oh, and then basically this is the third or fourth. So basically, the, the, the the rook the turtle is in the pink one here so basically i poured wax into the turtle mold and then sculpted on it to make it a, make this dragon for the Loch Ness monster show and then i did that again for this to so this is sort of like if it's the king and the queen of the turtles um they're too big for me to like but but it's sort of a more deluxe size figure you know let me let me pop over here so like, this is this is a painted rook. Um, I have a collector that that liked this color scheme, and I originally um, he he just bought well because it's all I had at that point too was uh, I didn't have like the full sets. Um, the plan was just that like the set was kind of a gimmicky kind of thing, but I was just selling individual figures for people who wanted to paint stuff that I thought was cool. So um, I basically sold him one of each of them. Which means that he's got a rook, a knight, a bishop, a uh, and then the king and the queen, and then you know other stuff. Um, but he doesn't have the other side, so um, this one had had a couple chips on it um, that need to get repaired, and so uh, I'm gonna do basically do that, and I've got this as uh, the um, sort of example of, of of how i need to paint up the other the other one so i just matched this and it should match the other ones that he's got but but basically i took uh took this mold right and then made this out of it and then out of this mold then i don't i don't want to grab it right now but like from the video that i had showing um we'll go back to that um that is that's that's what's happening there um is that that's the bigger guy and then i I've got another piece that I'm doing kind of off of that. So it's it's fun just kind of working in those orders. These are the, this is, I like this. So this is Aztor is the bishop. Chelsea is the queen. Korvac is the king. Kiesel is the, the monkey who's basically, and, and depending on how I'm going to do this too, the, um, um, the sets are sort of interchangeable. One of the things that I, I'm going to, um, I can do, and I keep thinking about it, is just like, I could just do a Patreon that is, you know, sort of a layaway chess set. It's just like every month I'll send you like four pieces, like two, like two, uh, the, two of the monkeys and two monkey pawns, or depending on which pawns you you were you were wanting, um, or whatever, or maybe you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna blind box it because that would be stupid. But basically, like these are the these are the six characters that I have had at that point. But then I'm just gonna this is gonna be stupid. Uh, uh, can I even get over that far? I don't think this is gonna work. But basically, like the Astor, there's there's a whole, like there's the King Astor, there's the Queen Astor back there, there's the Knight. Like so, the plan is that I've got each of these is a race, and so each one will have its own set. And then basically, what you do is you just buy. You just buy a half set. Oh, these are the these are actually the ones that that guy's got. 
so that's that's the set that he bought and then he gave me back this guy to uh to to clean up and then uh i need to just match using this photograph it will be helpful um the the rest of the pieces uh and then you give him pawns and then at that point i think we decided on bird pawns i think it was either bird pawns or monkey pawns i need to go look back at the order but i think i actually have it in in a in a in a fit of of professionalism i think i have all of these pieces in a bag ready to work on um but to go super into the weeds while i was there uh, there's one of the things that I do at these shows, and I have this bin over here, this little bin here, um, that is full of, like, small resin pieces. Um, so this was at... Uh, I think this was in October. Yeah, Mockingbird Land. But yeah, in here is just a bunch of small resin stuff. And usually what I do is the small resin stuff is, like, five bucks a piece, or buy two, get one free, so, you know, whatever... Um, that, uh, and so what had happened is I had, this guy was like digging through all of these cause I had, had some of the pawns out and I'm like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Cause like I hear him saying weird words or weird numbers and like they're numbers that weren't like, cause what you need is you need eight or you need 16 dudes to make a chess set, right? And he's like saying things like 32 or something and he's going to open his mind and I'm like, uh, oh, these I still have. This would be kind of a dibs situation. I don't have a price for it though right now, but like these all have glitter and glow in the dark and what I'm doing, do I have, I've got one here because I'm an idiot and this way I can also whatever. Um, so the pl basically, again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not casting with pressure uh, and so what you're getting is you're getting a very kind of, you know, handmade look, uh, stuff to a lot of this stuff. Um, and with this one, basically there's, it's kind of got a rough texture here. My plan is with these is that all of the tops of them, as you can see here, this, the, the, the head is very smooth and shiny. Again, it's just more work. I just have to do the work. And that's why I haven't, haven't done it is that like the heads and kind of like a little bit less as, as we go down, um, look real nice is the is the plan and then like i'm not gonna worry about the bottoms right but it'll just look like these are loved and worn and stuff um and again this is uh what did i do with my thing i'm not gonna turn the light off because it's gonna be stupid but um but i don't know you can't really tell but these uh the blue ones glow in the dark better than the better, better than the green ones um because i left less i put less dye in it but um uh, anywho um this is the cosmic set um so that's that's what's that's 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 what this is um and you can see the the glow there um but anyway um this guy was like trying to figure out he had a big pile of pawns bird pawns and he had like one big one big bird and i'm like what are you doing man and what sucked? Well, uh, yeah, well, not the part that it sucked. Oh, okay, here's the uh, here's the Astor set, like I was talking about. Um, but oh, see, look, remember it, all this stuff didn't show up earlier. This is what I was gonna try and find earlier. Was like this this set of blue and bone. Um, but anyway, um, so what he was doing was there's this game called Neffeltoffel. And this is an example of the the uh, the pieces that you need. You need one big king and his bodyguard. And then there's pawns that are trying to stop him from escaping, and he escapes from the corners. Depending on the on the game variation, he might escape from the edges. So what what that guy was doing was trying to figure out. Um, thanks. I'll go back and look at those real quick. Yeah, I was pretty I was pretty happy with. Uh, with the, those paint jobs and stuff. Um, it's it's fun. Um, I was going to do a Kickstarter in 2019, uh, but there's no way I am producing this in my garage. 
so part of it was the for me to 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 at least figure that out would, would have been that i would have um like there's there's a couple things that need to happen um for chess and that is that these guys currently they're all the same size like i've got pawns that's good but basically the rooks need to be smaller than the knights need to be smaller than the bishops need to be smaller than the queen which needs to be smaller than the king right so i need to get those scaled um, there's an example here somewhere of me doing some digital stuff, which is partly nonsense, but partly not nonsense. Where is it? This. Uh, like, I don't have a king and a queen of the birds. Um, maybe. Maybe I do. Um, so, uh, do you happen to know anyone who might have resin production capabilities? Uh, so this is in Nomad on my iPad. Um, I created the bird from scratch. Uh, this one, and, well, and this too. Both of these. Um, these are super rough models. The, the, the pawn is kind of, uh, um, uh, is there. Oh, you, you know people. So my plan is, with these, was that basically I would do, like, one set of bases for, per race. Or two, I guess. One for the the characters in the back and one for the the pawns right and so you can see that kind of here um potentially and that the thing is, is that i would basically do these as separate pieces i would have a peg and a slot like, like the base would be slotted and that the the other piece would just go into it that would enable us to do things like if like because my original set right with the og og ones um with this layout of characters would have like a rocky base that's kind of generic but that would be like the original set you know if it, for for cool kids or whatever and that basically and then instead of having to redo the molds for the just the birds because the bases are different um that's why i thought having the bases be separate and then you know you can just interchange the bases and the and the peoples um so that that's that thought so for the birds, I've got the original sculpt. Uh, I have the all the original guys scanned, and I just need to clean them up. Um, thanks, thanks. Um, and uh, for a true tournament chess set, the all the bases are slightly different too. I'm just gonna go with like the king being important. And then everybody else just has the king size base for like the characters in the back. Um, I'm making hand gestures when I don't have any cameras on. Um, but uh, but anyway, so that um, uh, that's that was my plan. But yeah, uh, what I was hoping to do was like I had those scanned. I wanted to get them cleaned up and I wanted to get them scaled down to where they were the right sizes. Uh, and actually, so these are actually closer to the right sizes since I just sculpted these sculpted these from scratch. The rook I'm not completely happy with. I like the idea of it. It's the execution's a little off. Well, hello. What? Okay, cool. Let me. Um, well, here this is. This should be fairly easy to do. I'll do this part. Oh, come on, come on, come, come on. Uh, 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 uh. Do it. Thank you, Sarah Graham. Um, let me... Well, I'll just remember to, to say that I redeemed that later. Um, thank you. I, I don't know, nobody... Like, you're like the second person to ever use that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Hopefully it seems like it's an okay investment tier. Um, but yeah, see how, like, the, the king is bigger than the queen, is bigger than the bishop? And this is the same bishop from the original set. That's kind of the goal, is that we figure out that, that range. I really like the, the knight, um, and the, the rook just needs to get, uh, stuff. And so, one of the things that I'd like to do with this is go, um, have, like, a, a set that is, like, two knights and two pawns that are in, like, a, a blister pack. And that's what you would do, get it at retail, and that you know that way you 
you can just build your own set. Um, and that's what I would do with Patreon as well if I wanted to train, dole them out in little bundles. And then, you know, uh, because like, what if you have a normal chess set that you like, but then you, you know, you just want cool horses. What if you just, what if you just collect knights? You know, what if you don't want to buy a whole set of, you know, bespoke, well, it's not really bespoke. It's just boutique, but, um, yeah, let's do stream writers. But this is like, this was the, the best kind of, uh, nulling. Did I, I think I put nulling in here. K N O L L I N G. Yes. Uh, but like trying to lay out artistically all of the pieces in half of a set. Um, uh, so, look, it's like circus peanuts. But back to the point, so this guy was, like, digging through my box of stuff and was, like, he was, like, over here and had a pile of, of pawns and one bird. And I'm like, what are you doing, man? And he's, like, he was trying to build this. And he was trying to figure out, like, how much it would cost. And so, like, if we went through my costs for stuff, it's like, okay, the bird is, like, 15. And then it was just, or, or 10, depending on whatever. But then it was, like, buy two, get one free, buy two, get one free. So that's, like, 20 bucks, right? So 20, 40, 60, 80, two, one. Wait, so it's another, so whatever. Money, 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 money. And then, um, and he was like, whoa, I can't. He's like. I could I could buy this set off Amazon for fifty bucks, and I'm like, bruh, I'm not I'm not Amazon, and Amazon's not making it in my garage, okay? And so basically, what we did is we we kind of came to a solution where actually I caved because I was like, hey, um, no, well, hear me out, because because basically this is a thing where I didn't know that this game was a thing. So there's this ancient chess thing called Nef Nefetopel which is Viking chess, which I can go over the rules again in a minute, but I'm going to, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, but basically I was like, fine, just like, I will, I will meet you at your $50 nonsense. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to tag me whenever you get this thing set up and I'm going to be, I'm going to not thank you for, you know, nickel and dime, and dime me, but like, I didn't know that this was a thing. So since you brought this to my attention, you know, I'm, I'm okay doing it this once. So what basically that's this is a Nefetopel set. Now, you, like, I just have my turtles and monkeys and uh, whatever spiky these guys are and these tentacles against birds. But like the goal, I mean, like a straight up version of this would just be like it would just all be birds, um, or you know that you could choose kind of which characters that you want. Is is my plans? I got lots of plans, um, but. Uh, Here's the thing. There's this other game called Brandub. I don't know why I'm rolling my R's. But it's uh it's it's an Irish variant of that game. That yeah, so the goal is that I actually have like retail for this stuff. Um but uh but unfortunately I don't know anybody that that uh, that has resin capability uh for, for with with awesome packaging, um, so I'm kind of looking for for somebody to uh, no I'm I'm not trying to be sweet because we all we know some we know some we know some people, um, but anyway so I, I made these for what was this when when was this 84 weeks October, so this would have been for DesignerCon last year I guess um, I did a couple kind of prototype sets of this. Uh, these were, so these, these are Brondub sets and I had these for, I don't remember if it was 50 bucks or 75 bucks, but it was basically like, here's a board that I made. Here's the figures that I've got. Um, what was the, okay. If we do the thing is like 20, 40, 60, right? No, no, it's 10. Buy two, get one free at five bucks, right? Five, 10 free. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you get the board for free bundled so these these were probably 50 bucks but plus they're painted so that would have been a easily a 75 five dollar value for 50 bucks is was, was basically the thought so um the great but that's that's what's great about brown dub is that it's it's considerably less figures and then what i would have the ability to do with this either with a kickstarter or with uh you know through patreon or 
not necessarily with retail. I, I think I would sell these as as a bundle. But you could also kind of build one of these out of like the if you if you just bought pieces from the chess set. Um Gotcha. No, totally. No, no, no. I I, 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 I hear you there. Um uh Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, I guess I sold those in Mockingbird Lane. Um but yeah, no, I mean, I mean, just the point of like that, that I've got good packaging, like, n like not, not necessarily that I, I had made it or whatever, um, sourced in it, but you know, like, of course we have to, you know, get it assembled someplace. Um, but that, uh, so in this case, I think all of these are, it's birds and then the other four factions, um, as a kind of variety pack. But this could easily be just like it's just turtles in the middle against other turtles, or turtles versus monkeys, you know, kind kind of kind of do that. Yeah. So what I need to do for for um, for Brandub is basically just get a set of instructions that are branded from for me, you know, that look nice and just tell you how to play, and get that what. Um. We opened the stream today with me just throwing things around and, and cleaning, uh, kind of, uh, because I was looking for some stuff. Um, I've got all kinds of this stupid uh, stuff here because at some point I need to make all of these resin bird heads, this whole chest set, be nice and shiny headed. Um, so I need to do, like, basically fingernail buffing on 36, 64 figures or whatever. Um, let's go back over here to WebView, where I'm talking about myself more. Um, but yeah, so the the basic way that this works, the, the, the gameplay of... Do I need to click in here to... There's, there's my mouse. So how um, these two guys and these two guys and these two guys... Well, let's get one that's like actually... There we go, different colors, because this is more obvious. Um, so it's the same thing as Nefetoffel. But Nefetopel is a bigger board and way more, way more peoples, right? So um, what happens is that I don't remember who goes first, but basically, like everything moves like a rook. Everybody knows how rooks move, right? You can move in a straight line as far as you want. So basically, this guy could move to like here, um, and then which would enable this person to move like to there. Uh, and then you can just kind of keep moving. And what you what you want to do, I guess. Why don't I just do? I'll just shift back over here. Um, do I have enough of? Do I have enough of topple? Look at this. Look at this garbage here. So, essentially, what you, what you are trying to do, like so, here's here's this bird, and we're just going to pretend that there's squares that make sense. Um, what what you're trying to do. Is you're trying to have one person or you know the edge of the board uh, there, and you want to slide into place so that you have two people on either side of the piece, and then you capture it. Um, so that's 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 how that's how that that's how that basically works. Um, and so you're basically doing that to try and. Uh, that's how you capture the king, is you have to trap him. But, like, uh, nobody can go on the corner except the king, so you can't, like, block him there. Um, but uh, that's what happens there. And so this was the most economic kind of version of my super epic mega chess set plan. Um, this, is, this was, like, the, the prototype board that I did at Son of, Son of Monster Palooza in 19? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so basically my thoughts are, like, I don't want to do a Kickstarter for, um, chess, I'll do a Kickstarter for Brondub, because even though it's a game that nobody knows exists, like, aside from some, some, you know, some certain amount of people, um, uh, just the, it's less daunting than doing giant chess sets. It's just smaller amounts of pieces, smaller pieces. Um, you know, like I, I could, like with the same amount of material, 
like this is less than one side's worth of chess for a whole set and then what i'm probably what my thoughts were was to do uh um laser cut uh laser cut boards um but uh <laughs> right um well good I'm, I'm glad um this is this is emily she's awesome and i owe her some figures that are painted and she's taken forever to not get mad at me um but she bought she bought the blue set uh and uh this this mimikyu is super awesome um but yeah so she owns these guys See, I don't know. Instagram, what are you doing? You keep messing with me. <clears throat> she owns these blue guys. So she owns this half set. Um so so that's a that's a thing. Um ba -doop 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 -ba -doop -ba -doop. Um Oh uh tangent not tangent, really. Um look, doesn't it look like these are almost could have been like statues on some xenos world that the imperium runs into and that these are all over the place as objective markers and stuff maybe maybe that's what i was wanting to do with this the whole time maybe i'm just doing chess stuff because i want to do 40k terrain maybe i don't know if i've got any do i have any shots of this uh this was an example of like what i might have done uh so, um, this is super not accurate. <laughs> these, these were done a long time ago. Um, this is the, uh, this is the Aztor set as if I knew what I was doing. So there's the original bishop guy. And then I was like, this is the king and this is the queen and this is the rook. Now you'll see that the rook actually fits. And then this, this was the pawn. If I click on Aztor, I think I'm the only person on the internet with this tag so this is all things that have have that character in here um uh the rook is the only thing that fits once i got messing with the wax this kind of organically just kind of happened this way so i was like whatever um so so there's that i mean that's just my process um but uh but there's that yeah and i like i like i like the knight a lot and i like you know so it's 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 hard with the the 3d stuff um if i go back to to this with the like the nomad thing that's door come on no you're not gonna <laughs> nice. Um, boop, boop. Here, this. Um, with these guys, is like going digital and and not losing that tactile feel. Right. I still want those chunky, and I I, I haven't I haven't messed around in Nomad for a while. Um, I've done ZBrush stuff in the past, and like I, I just don't want to deal with doing it on the computer. I like doing it on the iPad, um, but this is all iPad stuff. Um, the the pawn looks fine, um, but I want to make sure it's it's got those really crisp edges, right? So that's that's one of the things that uh, it doesn't need to look indistinguishable from the originals. I just need it to be you know close <clears throat> or feel 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 right. What is up 